So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make a menu screen like this. A health bar that you see in the top left that works. Seems like my other game has stopped working. Oh no, it's because I'm not in his line of sight yet. We're going to have a game over for when you die and when you uh, take out the little mouse or uh, take out the mutant. And you restart, it restarts. And when you hit quit, it quits. So that's what we're going to try to do. So... What we're going to do is we're going to make a folder in here. Go to Demo, Blueprints. We're going to make a new folder called Widgets. Inside this, we're going to have three widgets. We're going to have a death screen, a uh, main menu, and a health bar. So let's user interface. Widget blueprint. This one will be the main menu. Make another one called the game over. Oh yeah, game over. And another one for health bar. So main menu. Open this up. I'll close out of that. So, oh my, I have a very large screen. So, I will take up this entire thing, I think. So, what you're going to do is you're going to add a progress bar into here. Make this any size you want. Uh, so, where are the colors? Yeah, so you can change the fill color. So, let's say it's all red. And we're going to bind the, this percent. So, you see how it changes when you do the percent? going to bind this create binding and we're going to cast to uh, sentinel sentinel get player care whoops care ector uh, that should work yeah and we're going to get Oops. Get current health. Plug that into there. And that should be it, actually. Except we haven't added it to the viewport yet. So we're going to. Uh, we're going to go into here. My H. My health bar. Graph. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do the current health. Uh, divided by the max health. Forgot to do that. So. You can take your max health. Divide. Float divided by float. And that will be the return value. Because you're. Uh, you're comparing the max health. Compared to the current health. So if the current health is lower than max health, then you'll be able to tell. And now we just need to add it to the viewport, which I have forgotten how to do. So I'll be back in a second.